Hi, fourth graders. So today we are going to keep talking about voting and we're going to think about what we should keep in mind when we are picking a candidate to vote for. So today's lesson is called, what do you believe? Because it's your vote, your opinions that matter. So some review vocab, you can use that slide if you need it. It was from last lesson. So when we vote, we must find the candidate that has similar beliefs that we do. We want them to represent our beliefs, our ideas, our opinions. And we're going to talk about some common issues that are discussed in politics when people are running against each other for office. So one thing that people talk about is how to spend the budget. Remember, a budget is how we split money between different departments. So candidates have different opinions on where money should go. So some people might say that education needs more money, military needs more money, benefits need more money. So this tells where their importance lies, what they find important. In education, this money would go to schools to help them um, with technology, with books, with maintaining the school. For military, this would go to our army, the navy, um, all of the different parts of the military to help them get more people and have more resources to protect our country. And then benefits, there's many different benefits and we're gonna talk about that next. So benefits give people help from the government. This typically includes people that need help with money. They don't make enough money and they need it in order to survive. So this can include the elderly, people that are older, that maybe don't work anymore, that are maybe unable to work, people that are disabled. So um, anyone that has some type of disability that makes it so they are unable to make, get an income to go to work, or people that don't make enough money. So um, people that don't get enough money per year might get help getting groceries, um, get help paying their rent, and this all comes from government benefits. So one thing to remember is that at one point we will all be elderly and want to retire and the government helps people retire. So it is important that benefits are not cut entirely because we all are going to need them at one point or another. Another thing that is a big issue is gun control. So candidates are going to have opinions on our country's gun laws. They're going to talk about who can purchase guns and who and how people can carry guns. And the two main sides to this issue are safety. So people are talking about how if somebody else has a gun, I'm not safe. But on the other hand, people are saying, I want a gun to protect myself if anyone ever came into my home if anyone were to ever attack me, um, that would protect me. But on the other side, people are saying that they feel unsafe if other people are allowed to carry guns on them at all times. And another issue is, is this on American right? So there is an amendment that Americans have the right to bear arms, which means they have the right to own um, a gun of some sort. But who can get these guns and how can they get them is the big issue with gun control. Taxes. So the government gets money from Americans in the form of taxes and this is taken out of our paychecks and it goes to the state government and to the federal government. So candidates are going to talk about how much should be taken out. Some people might say we need more taxes to pay for this, this, and this. Or candidates might say, I want to lower taxes um, because we don't need to spend money for this, this, and this. Another issue that might come up is, do we give more money to the state government or the federal government? Who deserves to have more power and what happens with the people? All right. Number one, when we decide who to vote for, we should find someone with similar blank as us. Check those slides, guys. The answers are in the slides. Number two, a blank is how money is split up between different things. 
Number three, who do federal benefits help? People that need help with making money, people that work in government, people running for president, or people that vote. Number four, why are some people, I gotta fix that wording. Why are some people against guns and other weapons? They're expensive, they're not needed, they are dangerous, or they keep you safe. Number five, some people think owning a gun is their blank as an American. And number six, the government gets money from Americans that pay blank. What is that called? How do how does the government get money from Americans in the form of what? All right, guys. Have a wonderful afternoon. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, Adams.